Okay, so now that I met up here at the 14, as you can see, my two pieces are crossing each other. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to continue following the one where I had gone, and I'm going to take this and continue following the other piece with the same, like the same uh, direction. I'm not going to go over under. And when I get that piece there, I made these little things that I like to call stoppers. Um, it's a hard piece of ash. And what you're going to do is you're going to go opposite of the weave that you just put in so that it holds those pieces together and it allows me to let go of my work so that it doesn't fall out. So that's just temporary to hold it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my next piece. And um, where is it? Right here. And this, I could start anywhere. Uh, I like to go always opposite of where I put my stopper in, just so when I continue to go around, uh, my new piece is going to hold that in place. So now let me start at uh, number five, I guess. So I'm going to go over, under 13, over 5, under 14, and you can see it's offsetting the one I just put on. So I'm not following the same as the first one, I'm going opposite. So it's going to be going, this one, the first one I put on is going over 13, but the second one is going under, and that gives it the weave. So I'm going to continue going with this one. And I'll show you what I do when I get to the stopper. So I just keep going and uh, bring it closer to the one I just put on. And my ash is a little damaged, but um, I don't have much supplies with me, so I'm just making do with what I have. So now that I'm here at the stopper, I'm just going to take that out, and I'm going to continue going with, um, with the ash, like the new skinny piece that I'm putting on. And it's going to hold my pieces in place. So I can continue going with it. All the way around. Uh, also, if you notice it's starting to oval out, just start circling your pieces off by pulling the first one out some so that it looks more like a circle instead of an oval. Alright, so now that I'm here, I'm going to make this go under the 12. And then I'm going to continue following the same one till about number five right here. And I'm going to cut it off. Where's my scissors? So I'm going to cut it off at five. And then I'm just going to take it and slip it right under the one that, the same one. So that it looks like there's only one there instead of two. So after I slip that in. I could put another stopper in if I, sometimes it stays, but other times it doesn't, so just to be on the safe side, I put it in. And now I continue going, and I'm going to keep going with my uh, pieces, my skinny pieces, until I could finish the cover of my basket. So as you can see, when I flip it over, it doesn't exactly cover the bottom basket like what I want to make a cover for so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to make about six to maybe seven more pieces to go right here in order to cover the whole top so I'm going to continue adding my pieces and when I get to the edge I'm going to show you what to do from there 